welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Melissa Morell, and what I usually say is that I'm a personal stylist for the everyday woman, but today it's slightly different. We are styling the everyday woman, and that's going to be myself today, but we're also styling a man on the channel. The first time, and we're going to be introducing Julia, who is one of our stylists, who is going to be doing the male side of the styling for this particular video. Myself, Julia, Angie, Sarah, everybody is available to book and we style people all over the world on a daily basis. And today's focus for the video is going to be occasion wear. And we're doing it early on in the season so that you can get in there and buy the good items before they all start to sell out. And we're going to look at the full range of occasion wear. For many of us, it's maybe just a Christmas jumper and our jeans and our slippers. So we've got everything from sequin skirts and slippers and pajamas right the way through to some really nice dresses for you. We're going to start off with something a little bit different today and that is um, something that probably most of you don't know about myself is that I find standing in front of this camera incredibly hard. I'm 49 years old, I have never had any work done at all so we're talking no Botox, no fillers, no anything in my face. I am a healthy eater and um, I don't drink any alcohol, in fact I only drink water. I'm actually very very boring in all honesty. So I drink cold water and hot water and yet yeah, have a healthy diet, exercise and things like that but you can't beat the wrinkles. And so before I come on camera, and, and pretty much actually, I think probably every day in all honesty, I always do a bit of face care self-love. And that's usually in the form of some sort of current body product. And um, pretty much every day I use the LED face mask, which is amazing. But they've actually just sent me an updated version of the LED mask. So it's like their Series 2 mask. And if I'm completely honest, when I received it, I thought, well, I don't need this because number one is really good. I really like it. I find it super comfortable. So when they sent number two, it's kind of like one of those products that you don't actually think you really need until you try it. Oh my goodness. And it really does target the wrinkles, any redness. I had a spot here um, literally 24 hours ago, actually, and it's taken down that redness ready for filming. So whether you're new to LED therapy or perhaps you're just upgrading from the first one, these are the reasons why I think it's really good. So the mask uses 236 LED bulbs that emit three clinically proven wavelengths of light. So we're talking red, near infrared, and now the new deep near infrared. And that actually reaches up to 10 millimeters in your skin. So that's deeper than any retinol and it delivers even more powerful results. So for me, it means enhanced collagen production. So that means fewer fine lines and wrinkles and visibly firmer, brighter and smoother skin. Plus on the new series two, it features improved full lip and nose coverage. And they've really focused on the comfort for version two. It's made with like a flexible liquid silicone and it's designed to fit your face perfectly, no matter your shape. Importantly for me, it means that I can wear it while still making the kids lunch, going through the clothes, doing household jobs. So it doesn't require any downtime and it's completely painless. I will share a discount code for you in the description box. Um, but right now, let's get back to the occasion wear video. Okay, so for the very first time on the channel, actually two people for the very first time. I think it's your first time, isn't it, Julia? Yes, it is. So welcome, Julia. Julia is is one of our stylists who you can book online, but she also does male styling, hence the addition of Bob. So thank you, Bob, for being our guinea pig today. <laughs> <laughs> Only a guinea pig for us on YouTube. Obviously, Julia styles men all the time, and Bob has volunteered today to be our first male styling on YouTube, and obviously, Based on what we're dressed in right now, we are doing occasion wear today. But we're doing occasion wear from, I think this is probably the highest 
level of occasion where this is the black tie outfit but we're going all the way down to pajamas today yes we've got some slacks in there some with loungewear. some loungewear so we're very much aware that most people's holiday period consists of maybe one night out if you're yeah. lucky yeah. if you've got kids like we have uh, but the rest of the time you're probably snuggling up in front of the fire going for dog walks running errands and watching movies yeah, yeah. and still doing the washing up yeah still doing the hoovering yeah. and all the practical <laughs> stuff so before we look at our outfits um, Julia, give me an idea of what you have to consider um, body shape wise when you're styling a man. Okay, great. So if you have a man, <laughs> you have a husband or a partner or you're shopping for male styling, if they have a wider thigh, if they uh, work out or if they're a broader gentleman, then we're going to look for more pleats because that allows more fabric in the trouser. So these are a single pleated trouser. Bob, you have like a muscular thigh, but I'm talking a really a much bigger thigh. We're going to need a single pleat or even a double pleat trouser. And you can find those anywhere. And it doesn't matter. These are a tuxedo trouser. We've got like a seam down the side. But if you wear a regular black trouser, no one's going to notice. You're still going to look really dressed up. And we definitely want comfort when it comes to male styling. Absolutely. And um, my husband's in that category. His thighs are huge. Yeah. So you're going to yeah. want some more material. Otherwise, they're right. not going to, he's not going to be able to sit down. They're going to be so tight. Really uncomfortable. Yeah. Actually, that probably leads us quite nicely into something you were just talking about off, um, off air. Should we talk about your pants? Oh, of course. Yes. Your pants? 100%. <laughs> so I've been under it. <laughs> underpants are key to women's styling and men's styling. You know, you need yeah. to start from the bare bones. Let's yes. say. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, you are now wearing just wear pants, which are incredible because they offer a little pouch in the front for your bits and bobs. And so this is sorry, this is totally new to me as well. I did not know about this. So just wear is the brand. Just wears, I think it's called Just Wears. Yes. And they are incredible. You find them so comfortable. Don't so you? comfortable. I wear them pretty much every day at this point. And when you're moving around, even at work, yeah. you know, you're saying, I don't have to think about it. They can men's underwear can be uncomfortable. Things stick to the sides and they're just shifting around and it can be embarrassing. This solves all of those problems. So we'll Okay, so just to be clear, this is an internal pouch. Well, kind of external. Kind of external. <laughs> What? Oh, we're, going to, we're going to have to put a picture of these oh, up. Either that or you're going to have to show us. <laughs> what we call it is a, is a men's trouser bra. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's a good description. Basically, yeah. A yeah. men's trouser bra. Okay, yeah. so it's going to hold the boys in place. Yes, that's it. Exactly. Is that's that what like we're talking? Saying. It's a hug. Okay. Right, so the boys are kept in the barracks, yeah, as exactly. my <laughs> army husband would Separate. say. Yeah. Okay, yeah. right, okay. And this yeah. is going to stop you from having to readjust yourself? Yeah, it, is... it feels really comfortable with, particularly when you're wearing like kind of more suited trousers. Yeah. There's no like digging in. Okay. Uh, even if you're wearing a belt with normal trousers, jeans, there's no like digging in, there's no like slipping around and you just feel, you don't feel like you're wearing anything. Really. Brilliant. It's really comfortable. Okay, Great. we are definitely going to link them yeah. and we will link everything that you see in today's video anyway. Okay, so body shape wise then, other yes. than the thighs, what okay. else are we considering on a gentleman? We're going to look at height. Yeah. So if you have a shorter gentleman, um, I would stick to one block colour. So I would choose the black blazer, which we'll show you in a little bit. Um, because Bob's taller, how tall are you Bob? Six. One or six? six one. Something like that. On a good day. Yeah, on a good day. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we should say that Bob is actually Julia's husband. Yeah. <laughs> so like, um, so, which is why she can be a little bit yeah. cheeky. Yeah. 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 Other than the thigh area, mm -hmm. what else are we considering when you're dressing a man? If your husband is shorter and more slender, I would recommend a double breasted blazer because that is going to add some width to the styling. If he's more broad, but also shorter, then I would stick with the single breasted blazer. And is that for the same reasons as we do for a woman? Exactly it's going to same. give a smaller waistline and it's going to give nicer yeah, shape. Yeah, exactly okay. that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, does the height to, um, come into anything, like colour blocking or anything like that? Yes, so mm -hmm. the colour blocking, the taller you are, the more fun you can have with colour because you can yeah. really hold the drama in your height. Yes. Um, if you have a shorter husband or gentleman in your life, I would stick to the same colour. I love this green though, I think that pop of colour at Christmas time, 
gorgeous. Exactly. It's yeah. festive, it's fun, and it's different. Yes. And I like that for yeah. today. Yeah, also, the trousers are such a great quality, and I love what you want for a formal trouser is just that single pleat at the bottom. It looks mm -hmm. so sharp. Um, these shoes. Now, the thing I say about men's styling with when it comes to dress shoes is men sometimes have a hard time wrapping around having an expensive pair of shoes that they only wear once a year. Yes. I think women have less of a hard time wrapping their head around that. that. <laughs> I'm like, they're my going out shoes, it's fine. Um, and I just say, it's the same for women. They're your yes. special pair of shoes, keep them in the box, keep them, and so that when you get them out to wear them, it's, you really feel like you're dressing up. Yes, yeah. And is it important that you can see your face in them? I'm noticing how shiny they are, is that part of the look? I love that look. There are yes. some definitely different tuxedo shoes that you can get but these yeah. are my absolute favorite yeah and I think they will just stand the test of time as well for that one pair Absolutely. in your wardrobe you want to go for as classic as you can rather than a trend led piece for something on those lines Definitely. Um, lovely love the bow tie Yes, I, yeah. they did offer uh, a green velvet bow tie, but I just felt like that was too much. It'd be mm -hmm. too comical. I think it could be tempting to get the matching one, but I wanted to stay classic. And speaking of accessories, as a stylist, this is my biggest style tip at the moment mm -hmm. for gentlemen, which is to get some matching black socks. Now, Bob's wearing some polka dot ones, and I say try and match your socks to your trousers and your shoes if you can. This is not the space to wear your Simpson socks or your Star Wars socks. I know that men like to show their personality through their socks, but it really cheapens the look and I would actually employ you to spend some money on some matching socks. Absolutely. I'm getting asked a lot at the moment about how to wear socks with ankle grazer jeans for women. Mm -hmm. And following on exactly the same advice that Julia gives, we match our socks to our trouser colour. If you were wearing blue jeans, for example, then I would tend to wear a blue or a navy sock as well, and it'll help elongate and it'll help fill that gap with a little bit of warmth if you're wearing a loafer or a shoe like that. Otherwise, just stick a boot on and then you don't need to worry about the socks in the first place. Exactly. Because that sock and ankle grazer jean is sometimes quite hard to pull off if the socks are wrong. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, and we'll um, show you some. I think you have some ankle grazer khakis coming up, so we'll show you that. Okay, great. So, my dress. I like the fact that I'm coming last now. <laughs> they usually share the stage with a, a, a man. So, simple dress from Zara. I'll just come forward a little bit. So you can see the shape of that. Can you see the shoulders? I say, can you see the shoulders? <laughs> There's no way you can miss the shoulders, but it's the shoulders here and the exaggeration of them that is affording me more of an hourglass shape than I've actually got. So I carry more of my weight around my hips. So if I balance myself out on the shoulders, my whole figure is going to look more balanced. And that's the aim of styling. We're always trying to put you back into the hourglass shape. So as you can see, it's got a very low back on, but I've actually got a bra on. And what I've done, I've actually got a normal bra on right now, and all I have done is undone the clip at the back, and then I have just safety pinned it to the side of my dress. So that's one way of still keeping um, your girls in the barracks, <laughs> referring to um, the earlier conversation that we had. Um, but also you can get um, stick on bras that just go at the front probably for a night out I would use it's just obviously we're doing things quickly for the studio today or you can get bras that are particularly low down the back as well don't stop a backless dress like that putting you off you can still control the bust area if you have got a particularly big bust can you see how I have put a longer necklace on there um, I don't have a particularly big bust but I just wanted to show you that so if you put that necklace there it's going to to help split that area up just that little bit but because this um, shoulder and neckline area is so dramatic this is a good time to wear a really big statement earring and then you don't even actually need a necklace on that basis I've just teamed it with a bit of a fun bag there that's like a, a metal bag from Marks and Spencer's uh, the dress is from Zara and we will link everything for you Okay, so you've just got me by myself for a quick moment. Um, just thought I would show you this dress. 
So we showed this on our six women, six different body shapes um, video, which was over a year ago now, but it was the slightly shorter version. But the reason we showed it on that video is because it suited every shape. And we had size 16 to size 18, somebody with a larger stomach, bigger boobs, smaller petite, and it suited everyone. The reason for that is it's got beautiful draping all the way through it. It's velvet, so it's incredibly forgiving. So I've just paired it with a little sweet gold necklace and some gold shoes and then I've got the black and the gold in the bag to tie the shoes up. I rarely put black shoes with a black dress. I want to elongate my frame and elongate the foot line so usually a metallic shoe is the way forward. Right now you can see I'm wearing it off the shoulder so I've just got a normal bra on underneath. I haven't even got a strapless bra on so I've got my strap still up on that side which helps to uh, keep the girls in the right place but I've just let my bra strap hang down on this one. But what you can do is bring that up into the neckline pull it down at the front a little bit there. And if you are larger chested, you've now got something to break up that bust line. So you don't have to wear it off the shoulders. It gives a great waistline as well, because as you can see here, the arms are sticking out. So there's the start of our hourglass shape, both here and here. So that's going to make my waist look smaller. And because this is now sticking out, it's going to make my hips look more in proportion. And that's what we're always trying to do is recreate this hourglass shape. And I often get asked, why do we try and recreate the hourglass shape? And the reason is, is because all clothes are made to fit an hourglass shape. So that's where the clothes look the best. So if we can put your body back into an hourglass shape using clothes to do so, it means you're going to look balanced and the clothes are going to look better on you. The effect of doing that is the fact that you are then going to look like a dress size smaller. And that's because your body looks balanced. Nothing is out of proportion. So that's the reason that we do it. It's not necessarily about making a lady look smaller. We're not bothered about that, but we are bothered about putting you back into a balanced shape. I hope that helps explain. Okay, so the next look, we've just pared things down just a little bit, haven't we? Do you want to start off by talking about what you've done to Bob? Yeah, so this is a still a formal look, and when I'm dressing couples, I like it not to be matchy-matchy, but to complement each other. We have Melissa in her all-cream outfit, and so I wanted to complement that with a monochrome vibe of mostly black outfit here, which is also very comfortable for you to dress in, isn't it? Because you don't have any muss, no fuss, and it's very just simple. Um, we've got some tasseled loafers and a shorter khaki, which is very in. It's a very Italian dress vibe, and um, you'll see a lot of gentlemen in London wearing this look. Mm -hmm. But we've also got a black jumper here from River Island, very soft, very easy wearing. Now, you did comment on the travel shirt underneath, yeah. as you love the material. It doesn't crease, that's why they call it the travel shirt. And you said you would wear that every day. It's so comfortable. So comfortable, yeah. So just for reference, are we talking about the shirt being the travel shirt? Yeah. Oh, see, I thought you were on about something over the top, like a little car, like a car jacket. Yeah, no, it's no. this white shirt, um, right. which can always, the, sometimes if it's a poplin material, it could be stiff and uncomfortable, yeah. and a bit sweaty. You put this on and your face lit up. You were like, I love this oh, material. Especially right? under a jumper, I find or what I find a lot is if you've got a stiff shirt under a jumper it's constantly pressing it into you and you just don't feel yeah same with women i find if we yes. have a stiff shirt yes. jumper over it you can just be doing this a lot yes and it often adds a lot of bulk to a lady yeah. doesn't it yes yeah. exactly and that's giving quite a smooth smooth profile as well it's not creasing yeah now is that because of the fabric you just spoke about or is it because you've gone quite slim fitting on him it's the it? fabric it's a silky wow. like really nice falling fabric. Yeah, so it's nice. Yeah, really good. Drink. Okay, and um, we'll obviously link everything. Um, and is Bob taking his normal size in everything so far? Yes. Like I said, the trousers are a shorter length than maybe um, your husband's used to, but that is the look, that is the vibe. And my outfit is another one from Zara. We will link it. So we've got this little jacket on. The bow details here that you can see is 
very much on trend right now. You could wear it open. I've just obviously got it done up at the moment. So back to Bob for a second. Have we got another layer for Bob? Yes, I'm yeah. going to show this same look with the bottoms, but with a little bit of a different top, just to show you the versatility of the khakis. Okay, and I will do the same with these trousers, but perhaps a more casual top as well then. Great. Okay, okay so we've just to say dumb down the outfit what's a better way of describing that casualified casualified is that a word no but it is no now. but it is now <laughs> <laughs> okay so we've just made the outfit slightly more casual as you can see i've just added in a cashmere jumper this is the same cashmere jumper i wear all the time it's probably the single most worn item in my wardrobe and i've added in my little trusted shoulder pads in there just to give me a little bit of shape and I've kept the whole white look going on but as you can see with the jumper it just takes it down that level I really like that I find that's really easy yeah. whereas this is such an easy great look for that smart casual yes. vibe yeah. we've got a lovely jumper a t-shirt underneath now the t-shirt is 100% cotton which is great for men you're not going to be sweating you're not going to start feeling uncomfortable yeah. but with it poking out in the top it looks really styled we've got our black khakis on really comfortable same socks, same tasseled loafers for that really easy but dressed up stylish look. Really nice. Now, Julian and I were just talking off camera about dressing body shapes, particularly on men. And as you know, with women, we always recreate this hourglass shape. But with a man, you were saying that we're trying to create the, the more of the triangular shape. Yep, that V shape where the shoulders actually look more broad and muscular and then looking as if they come in more at the waist and the hips. Yeah, so that's why we've gone quite tight on the trousers to exaggerate that look even more. Where if if you were not Bobby and you were Barbara, uh, we would go <laughs> on wider. A <laughs> on a Sunday, <laughs> we would go wider on the trousers mm -hmm. to balance you out. So that's the difference. So I know perhaps many people will probably comment in and ask that, but that's how it works with gentlemen. Okay, next outfit. Next outfit. Okay, so now we've gone for well for me brown leather but we're mixing the browns and creams together i love it so much yes. you guys look so coordinated but not matchy matchy yes. so if you showed up at a party looking like this it'd be like yes this is just such a good look for both of you yes yeah i'll have to get my my husband in the brown stuff there won't i <laughs> yeah, i'll just take bobby <laughs> whichever <laughs> um so yeah so i am wearing some lovely brown velvet trousers from massimo duty they are boot cut so a boot cut trouser is always going to be flattering on whatever body shape and i'll just come a little bit closer so you can see this really lovely camisole top that i've got on underneath it's a very flattering line there Obviously, you could just put a cardigan on or maybe even like a nice black blazer. But for now, I've just thrown the coat over the shoulders like that. This is a beautiful coat. It is an expensive one, though. So we will link alternative items for most of things that we show today. Over to you, Julia. What have you done with Bob today? So we've gone for a wider leg trouser rather than those black khakis that we had on earlier. And these are really comfortable, aren't they, Bob? Yeah, so comfortable. They've got an elasticated waist, which we all love, but I've styled it with a belt, which again, just like women's styling, really ties the outfit together. Yeah. Uh, we've got some brown suede boots, which are so in, so stylish, very comfortable as well. And this coat is the showstopper. It is gorgeous. This material is amazing. It's a hound's tooth. And the brown and the black make it so versatile. You could wear this with so many different outfits. What we've done though, like we love to do with women's styling, is our trusted elastic bands. Our around okay. body arms here, and we've scrunched this up because we want to show a little bit of cuff, just like with our women's styling, and showing off that accessory of the men's watch. Men love to show off their watches, and it's such a great way to do that. Yeah, and on the point of the elastic bands, a lot of ladies say to me, um, the elastic bands are too small, because they are diddy. They are literally the size of like a five pence piece when you pull yeah. them out. Um, but you can see they even fit Bobby's arms. Yeah. So, um, and yes, they do ping and fall off sometimes and things like that, but it's a pound for about 500 of them. So have a few spares in your pocket and it will just stop that annoyingness of having to push your sleeves up and why not put them on the men as well as the women? Yeah, yeah exactly. perfect. Lovely. And this jumper works really well. You don't like a turtleneck often. Generally not. But this is a mock neck, so it's not adding that pressure to Bobby's throat. 
<laughs> that's what she does yes, when she gets that's in my job. <laughs> um, so it works really well. It looks really smart. It's perfect for winter. You're actually quite toasty right now, aren't you? I would say I die. <laughs> <laughs> but this is just the perfect, like, you look really well put together. Yeah, really nice. I would take you out as my plus one. Thank you. <laughs> now that we look so good together. Yeah. <laughs> <Thank goodness>. Husband <laughs> sharing and all of that. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> okay, on to the next outfit. So just before I take off these brown velvet trousers, I wanted to give you an alternative on the top. And I found this one, and I think this is beautiful. My son said I look like an ostrich, but who listens to 14-year-old boys? Not to me. I think it's lovely. It's from Sainsbury's, which is one of our supermarkets here in England. And it just shows you that you can pick up key pieces like this at a really reasonable price. And when you put them together with more classic items, it's going to look lovely. And I think that is perfect for some sort of drink around somebody's house, for a little bit more of the festive vibe. The velvet makes it more elevated. The texture of the jumper makes it more elevated. I've pulled the sleeves up, but actually if you just leave the sleeves down, that's also a really lovely shape. So yeah, we will link it and I hope it's still available by the time the video goes out. So we're going for a little bit of burgundy pinky. What yes. do you call that tone? I would call it burgundy. Burgundy sure. still, it's definitely in the same school, isn't it? Yeah, and it's yeah. the colour of the season. Absolutely. Absolutely. And mixed with the other colour of the season, which yes. is brown. Exactly. I must admit, I probably wouldn't have put those two colours together, particularly for a man, but I think he looks really, really good. Yeah, and yeah, totally well it works really well. Also, this would look great with a dark pair of denim if you wanted to make it a little bit more casual. This jacket is so versatile, it looks really great. Yeah, absolutely. So you've colour blocked him on the bottom with the shoes and the trousers. Is yep. that intentional? Yeah, so that's going to lengthen the leg. So same with women's styling. If you color block shoes into trousers, then it's going to really give you that lovely long line that works really well. And then a nice lightning color. So the cream, again, like I said, Bobby is a spring season. So that off-white works really well with his complexion. Um, so we've used the Arquette t-shirt, which is my favorite brand of men's t-shirts. It's that nice, thick, mm -hmm. strong t-shirt that's comfortable, but also isn't see-through. Um, and we've got this great ribbed jumper under here, which is stylish and uh, a little bit more styled than your regular jumper, um, but it's really comfy under this great burgundy blazer. Yeah, lovely. And I'm wearing an old favourite. So I had this last year or the year before, but they've still got it this year. And even better this year, they've got the V-necks which is brilliant. So the V-neck version of this is going to be brilliant on anybody with a larger bust, but if you've got a smaller bust, then you want this version because it's going to make your bust look bigger. Um, beautiful silhouette, kicks out as a sort of fishtail on the bottom. It comes in navy, what other colours do they do? Maybe a dark green, an emerald mm. green perhaps, yeah. but lots of different colours. So we will link them. I've also gone with a white shoe, but I'll put a picture up at the side of me because I was toying between a boot and a shoe. And I think we thought both looked really good, actually, didn't they? Yeah, they looked really good. Uh, yeah, the shoe just made it um, a little bit more um, elevated and the boot just made it a little bit more casual. So as long as the dress is covering the top of the boot, then you should be fine with either. But um, when you have got a shoe like this on, you don't want any straps over the front of your shoe, particularly if you're short, because that's going to make you look even shorter. So, yeah, where are we going tonight with this? Oh, it's a big choice. Big choice? I mean, what some of us have to some of us I know. She I'll, I'll set a different table. <laughs> <laughs> You're <laughs> like a night off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I <I'd> say. <laughs> Okay, um, on to, are we doing pyjamas? Oh yeah, let's go casual. Let's, let's go, go casual. Loungewear. Yeah, we will get, we'll get in our pyjamas and we'll be back. We're in our comfies, which is why I now look about five foot <laughs> tall compared, because <laughs> I'm always in a heel usually. So we've gone comfortable, haven't we? And I, me and Bob were just saying, this is what we want to be in. This is what we want to wear every day. Um, we're both in cashmere sets. Mine um, is obviously a two-piece set. It's got the hood on here, but the hood is actually removable. Now I went for this in a size medium, but I think it's actually a little bit too big. So I'd probably size down to a small in this, and I'm usually a UK eight to 10 if that helps. 
I always go bigger on my trousers though because the last thing I want when I'm sitting down is something too tight on my thighs or on my stomach. It's got elasticated waist, so I would stick to the medium in the bottoms. Uh, so Julia, what have you picked out for Paul? So this is a gorgeous cashmere tracksuit for men from m and It is so soft, so comfy. What I was saying is that it's very common for women to have cashmere tracksuits or a very lovely, luxurious, leveled up loungewear, but men want the same thing as well. So don't be afraid to get this as a Christmas present for your husband because coming home, putting this on at the end of the day, you still feel dressed, energized, put together, but so comfy and cozy. Yeah, totally, really nice. Most men, as Julia says, will just throw on anything, won't they? Yeah, old sweatpants, old t-shirt, whatever, yeah. some shorts, but this, just having that loungewear for men is yeah, and I'm thinking as well of my own husband. I know you guys have got smaller kids as well, mm -hmm. but my kids are at that age where I'm having to leave the house at 11 o'clock at night to go and collect them from places. And so when you're in an outfit like this, you feel like you can go to somebody's party and pick them up as yeah. opposed to having to get mm -hmm. out, you know, change because yeah, you're in a night dress or something That's on those right. lines. So you've got all that to come. Can we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <good insight. laughs> so next we've got the classic jumper back again. This is probably the single most worn item in my wardrobe, this jumper, because it just goes with absolutely everything. And when you don't know what to wear, I always pull this out because whatever I pair it with, it goes. This sequin skirt is no different. So I love a sequin skirt at Christmas time. A pencil version suits a lot of people. Even if you've got big hips, you can still wear a pencil skirt. What is more important is what you pair it with on top. So somebody who is very large on the hips would pull a skirt on like this and they'd go, oh no, it makes my hips look bigger. Of course it's going to make your hips look bigger because it's following your shape down. However, when you balance out your top, it's going to balance out those hips and then it will put you back into the hourglass shape. So this is another supermarket purchase. Really lovely, just got the little split there. I've got my heels on, but I just wanted to show you the reality. Probably when I'm at most people's houses, I lose all my height, I throw my shoes off, and that's me at their house or on Christmas Day, or I'll then add in a fluffy slipper. But actually, the items alone, obviously, they're not going to look as nice as when I've got the heels on but it still looks nice enough just for a Christmas meal around somebody's house. The colour is beautiful, it's a beautiful burgundy. Oh, I'll show you really quickly, I've also got a brown one, so let me put that on for you as well. There you go, again, another supermarket purchase. This feels really luxurious and it's really soft for a sequin skirt. I'll pop my shoes back on. There we go, and I just don't think there's anything more effortless in terms of a Christmas outfit that is going to work for you year on year on year. This type of look simply doesn't date and it just always looks really classic. We're in our pyjamas so for me if I could stay in something like this Christmas day all day long I would and if I go back to my own parents house that's what I do do. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I <remember> that. <laughs> yeah I revert completely back to being a teenager but to have a nice pair of pyjamas is really it feels really nice and fresh it again it comes back to this um, notion of not feeling too slobby mm -hmm. in your pajamas these ones are lovely I will just go close up for you so these ones have got little Christmas stars on them but you could also wear these all year round this set here you can get for the whole family the whole right? family and I think even the dog even the dog yeah oh, can you imagine Monty <laughs> I can, so imagine, I can imagine putting anything on Monty, unless it was food. Um, really inexpensive Ugg boots there, you don't have to go for the branded ones to get that same level of comfort. Yeah. Noticing that you've kept a t-shirt on, is that deliberate underneath that? Um, that is to save the, your lovely audience from Bob's chest hair, but also <laughs> to just keep that 100% cotton and another layer, just to keep it cosy. You can put a t-shirt on yeah. under your PJs if you want to. Yeah, why not? Yeah, very nice. So these guys have got to shoot off home to go and get their kids but thank you so much Julia for coming in today. Julia is available to book online for colour styling, for general women styling and as you can see she's really good at male styling as well. 
So we will put all the links up in the description box so you can book Julia or any of our other stylists online for a wardrobe brew style, a face-to-face -face meeting and everything in between really. We do everything, don't we now? Yeah. Um, lovely. So thanks very much for coming and being our first model, Bob. Such a pleasure. Yeah, Thank really you. appreciate it. And I will continue to show you some more pyjamas. So starting off with these great ones from Sainsbury's, they've got the candy canes on them. They come with this super cute matching hair tie. And it wouldn't be Christmas without a star pair, but you can still wear these all year round. 95% cotton, 5% spandex, so it's going to have that little bit of stretch. It's also got wicking properties, so great if you've got the hot sweats. How nice are these? These actually come in the full family set as well. But these ones are obviously bright pink. And yeah, what a great dupe. Only one reason why I bought these, and that's for the matching eye mask. To be honest, I love the trousers. I love the eye mask. The t-shirt actually isn't that nice a quality. But, but the trousers do make up for it. If super soft is what you're looking for, then these are gorgeous. You throw on a coat, nobody would know you've got your pyjamas on underneath. Other than fresh bed linen, there is nothing nicer than a white, fresh pair of pyjamas. 100% cotton, these ones are gorgeous. Until you want a fake tan, then it's an utter nightmare and you need these ones. Timeless classic, you cannot go wrong with a navy pair of traditional pyjamas. Now if this doesn't scream Christmas office glamour, then I don't know what does. It really does make me feel quite powerful, I think, in a suit like this, especially with the brows done up like that. Um, I love it, absolutely love it. Don't know when I would wear it. Not sure I have any occasion to wear it, quite frankly. I'll just show you a close up on this blouse because it is beautiful. So obviously I have it done up at the neck with the little bow at the moment. I've also added in a little shoulder pad, but only because I'm larger on the hips and I need to balance myself out. But many of you won't need to because you've already got the pin tucks here, which give a little bit of volume in the sleeve. Those sort of sleeves suit everyone. Now the only difference here is that if you are large busted, you're probably best to wear it open. A pussy bow blouse like this looks really, really lovely open. And I'd probably also open it if you were quite petite as well, because the full red look from head to toe might start to wear you a little bit if you're quite small. So I would wear it more like that if you're petite. But yes, love the outfit and we will link everything as normal for you. Now for those of you who follow us on Instagram, you'll see that I have been doing 30 days of holiday outfits. So basically I've been putting a post up every single day with a different idea, going from pyjamas, Christmas jumpers, right the way through up to glamour pieces. If you don't follow us, please head over there and you will um, see everything that we're doing. But I posted a Christmas jumper. Um, this one in particular. Now this is a retro style of Christmas jumper, so it's very much on trend. But I had a lot of you saying, how do I wear a retro jumper when I've already seen it come around sort of twice and without looking like, um, like a frumpy mummy? to be honest with you. And you've got a really good point because the retro jumper is a very deliberate styling decision. You're wearing it to look a little bit trendy in a reverse type of way. So you need to pair it with a modern alternative. If I just put this retro jumper on with some um, old linen trousers and some fuddy-duddy mummy shoes, then yes, the whole outfit wouldn't work. You would just look old-fashioned. You wouldn't look on trend or you just, you just, yeah, you just date yourself massively. So when you are trying to wear more of a um, vintage dated piece or something that's a little bit more retro, you've got to make sure that everything else is a little bit more modern. Hence why I've gone for the more modern jean, the boot. Now what the boot is going to do, it's going to give me a little bit of structure because these jeans are very wide and very oversized. So if I give myself some structure down the bottom area and avoid like a big heavy boot or something, it's going to give the illusion that everything under the jean is slimmer and believe me, it's not. 
So yeah, that is how you wear a more retro Christmas jumper. But if retro isn't for you, I've got a couple more for you. So if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I had this last year. They've still got it in this year. It is a 100% wool, so it's a different price point to the supermarket one that I just showed. Um, but it's beautiful. And the fact that it's so classic in style, the polar bear, the cream, means that I can wear it every year anyway, rather than go cheaper and only wearing it that year and then throwing it out so it's actually more sustainable doing it that way when you buy a classic style but as you can see that goes just as well with the jeans and the boots and yeah this is actually one of my favorites oh I can just see there my necklace is showing up so I've been wearing this a lot it's from Missima be honest with you we've been recording this video now since very early on it's now 10 o'clock at night for me and so I don't know if I've already shown you these earrings or not but if I haven't these are my new favourites as well. They're from Missima too. They've sent me some gorgeous stuff, which I will get around to showing you at some point. But um, these particular pieces I'm wearing all the time at the moment. I love this option as well. Again, supermarket purchase. Really nice, very inexpensive. It's lovely with a blue pair of jeans. What more do you need out of a Christmas jumper? So next up from me is an oldie, but a goodie. For those of you that have been following me for a while, you'd have seen that I wore this last year. I've worn it already again this year. They do still have it in stock. It's a beautiful jumpsuit for putting you back into that hourglass shape. So starting off here with the very, very strong shoulders, as you can see. So that is going to make my waist look smaller and it's going to balance out my more curvier hips. You can wear a bra with it because it just zips up all the way up the back there. It's velvet trouser suit. Obviously got the cuffs on and beautiful detail across the chest area. And I just think it's a complete classic. You can take off the feather cuffs if that's just that little bit too much for you. And when you've got this on and maybe then a blazer over it, that is going to look gorgeous. So that's it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed that. Remember, we have started styling men now. So if you go onto our website, you can book Julia or one of the other consultants to style your husband, your partner, your friend, whoever. But obviously, we also style ladies. So please do get in touch. Everything is bookable on our website and we look forward to helping you.